Welcome back everybody. In today's Affinity Photo tutorial, we're going to create an awesome sketch effect. And since I want to use this process in a couple future videos, I'm going to record a macro to make it easy to repeat. I'll start by going to Windows in the menu and selecting Macro. This will open up my macro panel on the left. To start the macro, click the red dot at the top. All right, next, we're going to turn this into a black and white image. So I'll go to the Adjustments button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select HSL Adjustment. I'll then slide the saturation slider all the way to the left to remove the color. Next, I'll go to Layers in the menu and select Merge Visible. Then I'll go back to the menu and go to Select and then Invert to invert the image. OK, now I'll go to the Blend mode at the top of the Layers panel and select Color Dodge. This should cancel out the negative image and turn most of the canvas white. To bring in the sketch effect, all we have to do is go to the Live Filters button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select one of the blur effect. I'll go with Minimum Blur. Now all I have to do is use the slider to add a little blur and we have our sketch effect. I think somewhere around 7 or 8 looks best. All right. At this point, we can stop our macro by clicking on the little white square at the top of the macro panel. Then, we can select this little three-bar icon to the right to add it to our library. I'll just name it, and then I'm done. To close the macro panel, click the three lines icon at the top right and go down to Close Panel Group. Now, I want to show you how to run the macro. I'll open up this other image I have and then go to Windows in the menu and select Library to open up the Library panel. Then, I'll go to the sketch macro I just created, click on it, and boom, I've got a new sketch effect just like that. All right, there's a few more quick things about this one I want to show you here before you go. First, you can use a mask to clean up areas that you don't want in your sketch. Just click on the Mask button at the bottom of the Layers panel. Then, select the Paintbrush tool in the left toolbar and select a nice basic soft brush. With this technique, you'll need to use the white paint color to remove unwanted pixels. Also, sometimes there are details that are hard to brush away. If you make a precise selection of the area using the freehand selection tool or any of other selection tools first, you can paint over it without worrying about erasing what you want to keep. You may find that you need to resize the image to make it look balanced after you are done. You can select the crop tool on the left-hand toolbar and drag the nodes to change the dimensions of your canvas. That looks better to me. Finally, if you want a bit of color in your sketch, just go to the HSL adjustment layer and turn it off. It will give your sketch a kind of painted look, which looks really nice too. All right. That's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.